what skills do you actually need to start your MSP business? I'm covering all of the skills, all of the tips, and a lot of tricks to make your life a million times easier so you can give your MSP the absolute best chance at growing. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. And like I said, we're covering your skills that you need to have or you need to develop over time as a business owner, especially an MSP business owner, that will help you grow. Now, before I get into today's video, my name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs with sales training and marketing. Before I get into it, as always, two quick things. I promise you, one, masterclass. If you haven't gone through it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go down to the links. Go grab it. Go check it out. It is worth it. I promise you. Number two, as always, come join us in the free Discord. It's a fantastic group. And if you're just starting your MSP, kind of 2.5, there's a launch pad down below. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a, you're a new MSP business owner. It'll help you tremendously. So let's talk about the MSP business ownership because you're about to go through a crazy, crazy transformation in your life. Not just what you do for work, but how you're going to provide for your family, how you're going to make income and ultimately building the future that you probably really, really want. Or you just want to tell your boss to not be your boss anymore. <laughs> you can fill in whatever you'd like to fill in there, but that's totally up to you. So first, before we even get into it, we got to talk about the business model, right? The business model, pretty simple. We want checks or in this case, fat stacks of fake money into your account every single month. You want real money, not the fake stuff, but I appreciate one of you guys for sending this over to me. That's really it. That's the business model. We get paid on monthly reoccurring revenue, MRR. That's the beauty of what we do. Every single month, the first of the month, or whenever you decide to sign up a contract, boom, money's in your account, and it helps you grow your team, grow your business, grow your expertise, but it also helps the client tremendously because you're always incentivized to continue helping them. That's really why we're in business. So once you understand that, and at the core of it, you're providing usually help desk. If you're an MSSP with a security in there, managed service security provider, you're going to do probably one layer extra with additional security than you would be if you're a regular MSP. But in all honesty, MSP in my eyes is a managed solutions provider. You're providing solutions to your customers. That's really how we make the most amount of the green stuff. So let's talk about the technical skills, right? I, I have some notes here that I'm, I'm going to take a glance at, but it's important that you have some kind of technical skills. And if you don't, that's okay. There are plenty of YouTube channels out there. There are plenty of resources out there that you could go watch and learn and grow and get better at your technical stuff. The beautiful part about the technical stuff, in my opinion, is the fact that you can do it at your home at one o'clock in the morning, at four o'clock in the morning. If you're one of those crazy people that wakes up that early. You know who you are if I'm mentioning this to you, but there are people out there that want to work and you can learn the technical stuff outside of regular business hours. During regular business hours, you're going to have to do the sales stuff. So knowing that business model is really important. You have to be fairly technical with it and you have to be able to get through and learn the technical side of it. The key points that you're going to need, you're going to need to know some network management and some basic level security. That could just be any virus, but there's probably some multi-factor authentication you might want to look at as well that'll help your business and some basic security practices that'll be really good for your clients, not just you. You need to know some bit of the cloud. If you don't know the cloud, you're probably missing out at this point, but you have to be familiar with the cloud. You have to be familiar with Microsoft Azure, as most people are on it. You have to be familiar with AWS's cloud, and you'll learn a bunch of other cloud things over time, how the cloud works, how it's going to work with different softwares. But you have to know the basics, right? AD and Azure is super, super important. It's just kind of like one of those barriers to entry. If you don't know it, you're definitely going to have a bit of a harder time. And that's okay. You can always hire somebody that knows these things. You don't have to be the end-all be-all. I don't know everything about MSPs. I know how to help MSPs make a lot of money, and I know how to market their business, but I'm not the most technical person. You can hire out for certain things. There's no doubt about it. You're going to need to know some automation automation systems and some integrations with them. I love Go High Level. There's a lot of automations that you can do, but setting it up to integrate with certain things can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Look and find what works for you. Your MSP is almost always going to be different than another MSP. So just find out what works for you and learn it like the back of your hand. It's pretty important. I should have wrote a little thing back of your hand on here. It would have been kind of funny. 
And you got to be the most important part, in my opinion, as far as skills go, is you got to be good at customer service. At the end of the day, yes, we want this. But the customer is only going to give us this if we do what we're supposed to do. We follow the business model. We have those skills and we support them appropriately and pleasantly. Right. MSPs are no exception. Everyone other than two categories need to be really good at customer service. And I'm going to I'm not even going to I'm not even going to make you wait. Those two categories that are exempt from that list, lawyers and doctors. It doesn't matter how much you hate that lawyer. If you know that lawyer is going to help you get out of a jam, you will pay them any amount of money. Same thing with a doctor. If you know that you are terminally sick, and I hope to God you're not, but if you're terminally sick or you have something wrong and you know there's one doctor in the world, it doesn't matter how much you don't like them, the, their political beliefs, whatever it may be that causes you not to like them, you're still going to pay them. You're still going to have them help you out because you want their their services. That's it. If you're if we're not in any of those two categories, you got to make people like you, you got to be good with customer service and being able to provide your delivery, whether that's your services that you're providing, that could be hardware that you're providing in a prompt and timely manner. Those are the core technical skills. There's still more skills through this entire thing, right? We have to be a leader. As the CEO of my business, growth-generators.com, I got to be a leader. I got to lead the team to victory. Whether or not I know what I'm doing or not, I still have to be the person that is the leader that everyone can look up to and say, hey, this is the guy. You can pass on leadership roles to other people, but at the end of the day, you, the business owner, have to know that you are the leader. You are the key decision maker. Being a leader does not mean you have to make every decision willy-nilly. You can ask your team for assistance in making certain decisions. That's important. You have to have some level of financial management. If you are a financial disaster right now, meaning you're burning through money, you don't know where money is going, owning a business is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. You can learn it over time. And ultimately, it makes it a lot easier when you have a lot of this coming in the door. That's the cool part about it. So Yes, you're going to have to learn financial management. You're going to have to know your burn rate, which is how much money you're spending or your capital expenditures. Like there's so many terms I could spend a whole day on financial terms for your business. But at the end of the day, you have to know how much money is it cost to operate your business? What softwares do you need? How much is it costing every single month? What are the non-negotiables? And how much money do you need to make to cover those costs and be able to put food on your plate? Super, super important. And you need to know some basic marketing strategies to be able to go out and execute. I'm glad you're on my channel because that's basically what this whole channel is about, sales and marketing. That's easy. You could just follow along with that. Financial management, you're going to have to figure that out. And there's other YouTube videos out there to teach you financial management. But you have to know about financial management and understand that it is something that you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with invoicing. You're going to have to deal with chasing down some people for money. It's all a part of the process, unfortunately. You got to take the good, which is this, and you got to take it with the bad, which is chasing people down for money. You also want to stay ahead of the curve. In the MSP world, I'm sure you're probably aware, technology changes all the time. I don't know how old you are, but I'm sure that most of you watching this probably remember when the first iPhone was around. And if you put that hunk of garbage, I'm just kidding, it was a revolutionary thing at the time, next to, I think I have the 14, there's a massive difference. You have an old hunk of garbage that kind of sucked. And I'm sure you guys probably remember when Siri first came out to this absolute unit of a phone. And I don't care if you're team Android or team iPhone, they're all leaps and bounds better than what they are. Technology changes. You have to be ready to drink from a literal fire hose of information all of the time. Things are moving so fast, especially with AI. The world is about to get even crazier than what it is. You have to stay on top of it. You and your team. That is kind of important. You can go to conventions to learn. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Little wink, wink. You can take time, take time to hit that like button too while you're down there. But you have to be in it. Lawrence Systems, fantastic YouTube channel teaching MSPs the technical side of certain things worth its weight in gold. And even Professor Messer, another great YouTube channel to learn the tech side of things from. But you have to be able to stay ahead of it. And then there's going to be a lot of skills that you're going to develop that I can't even include in this video, like what it's like to look at somebody in the eyes. If you're somebody that is a little bit more on the shy side and doesn't enjoy looking at somebody in the eyes, you're going to have to sell you. You are the product in the beginning. Most of the time, unless you have financial investors that are going to give you money so you can hire a team, you have to feel confident standing up straight, taking a shower every day, cutting your hair, looking clean shaven, being a professional 
in the work environment or the sales environment and understanding a basic sales process and going through that and why people buy. There's so many skills that you're going to learn and figure out and adapt and tools that you're going to implement. You are going to be a sponge. But those are some of the core things that will help you tremendously, especially like the leadership, learning how to scale and growth, which is kind of like leadership and financial management. But as time goes on, you're going to need help. You're going to have to step in shoes that are going to make you feel uncomfortable. That's the best part about it is you get to keep learning every day. Even in my life, sitting in my own home in my home office is an adventure. You guys are freaking amazing. I've had conversations literally with so many of you guys all over the world, and it's just the coolest thing. That's going to happen to you. You're going to meet the coolest contacts of people that own the coolest businesses, and you're going to be just awestruck at the incredible things that people have been able to do, especially as a business owner. You are one of the few people out there. You are going to learn so much. You're going to see so much cool stuff. You're going to make friends with as many people as you possibly can that can help you grow your business. It is truly the coolest blessing out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I hope this was some good value for you. If you want me to make a video, leave a comment down below. I love taking your requests and trying to get to them. I know that there's some that I haven't been able to make yet. I'm doing my best here. I, I, I promise you. I'm just trying to make as many great videos as I can for you guys so you guys can go out there, crush it, and make the fat stacks. I love the heck out of you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.